Hey guys, Thomas from Team Sakurazo here, coming at you with a birthday market watch. Yes, it is my birthday today. I took two, three days off with my fiance. We went to a hotel, had a lot of fun together, just had an overall great time, and it was pretty wonderful. I actually went uh, playing blackjack, and I actually won for once, which is funny, because my luck is so bad that just driving past the casino, I can make everyone within the vicinity lose their hand. I'm not even joking. So, I mean, I am joking, obviously, but my luck's really bad. You actually don't even want me near you. Uh, unless I'm shooting dice. Shooting dice is great, or like coin flipping, but that that's it. But yeah, had an overall great time, uh, you know. Also, I, we hit 1,400 subscribers, so if you're subscribed, I just want to say thank you a lot. I really do appreciate you. The Q&A is coming up probably next week, so if you have not ans asked your question yet, you can do it in the comment section below, along with what cards you want me to look at at the next Mark Watch. We actually have a lot of old school cards on this Mark Watch because they've been going up a lot of collector cards, so I think it's a Mark Watch you guys are going to want to stay tuned for, for sure. And if you want to support the channel in any way, shape, or form, and you're buying cards off TCG Player, please my affiliate link down in the description below. It helps out the channel to no additional cost to you. Uh, if you want to donate through my PayPal, there, it's in the description. That'd be great, but you don't have to. Also, if you want to become a YouTube channel member, as well, that'd be great. Uh, I might change the rewards a little bit. I might upgrade them a little bit since I don't have as many YouTube channels members as I thought, which I'm not doing this for the money. That's, you know, not what I want to do. But maybe I did something wrong with the rewards. I need to make them a little bit better. That's at least what my process of thinking is. So stay tuned for that. Keep looking at the rewards. I'll also update you at Market Watch's beginning of them if I do change them. You know, all that jazz. Also, if you want me to go over any cards or let me have any bios, let me know in the comment section below. And if you guys can leave a like and subscribe, that'd be great. Can we get 100 likes for my birthday? I know that's really crazy to ask, but 100 likes would be really, really cool. So with that being said, guys, we're just going to get right into it. So Psy Frame Gear Gamma Collector's Rare. This is actually bought out. Uh, Unlimiteds are starting at 150. And first, you got one here for 275. And then you got to place it here for 600. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think this is going to stick. Gamma is a really good card right now, but someone's not going to pay $1,800 for a place at Gamma. And no one's just going to buy one single Gamma, right? Like, near mints, I could I could see these going. This, I don't know. I mean, well, if, you might as well pay $30 extra dollars for a first set one and just get two of these and just be happy you have one first set, I guess. But, like, I don't see them going for $600, really. I see them first set going for $300. I see half of this price. That's what I see. Uh, we also have some other bios, like Caius the Shadow Mark, Ultimate Rare from Turtle Pack Booster 3. Uh, this is $300 for near mint. However, we have this Spanish, moderately played. Uh, if this was English, I'd probably consider buying it. Like, it's definitely my bad play. It has that crease there, that thing. But, like, stuff like this would look good in the sleeve. It's just one side kind of messed up a little bit on the back here as well. You know, it's not it's what you would expect out of mob play, but it's not that bad of a mob play. If it was English, I pick it up and I think I could either flip it later, but I think this has kind of inflated, I'll be honest. However, I do understand why this card got bought. A lot of people are buying out these old school ultis from like Tur Turbo Pack, Astro Pack, and all that other jazz because they're used in older formats. And Kaisa Shao Mark is used in so many formats that I can't even list <laughs> begin to list them. I don't really see it going down, but what I pay, what I do I see people paying this price? I see it maybe going down at two fifty and people paying that, but that's a lot of money for Kaisa Shadow Monarch. Uh, in fact, what other versions are there? What's the second best? I mean, you have this gold series. I don't want to talk about that. Yeah, this is a very easy card to get. I guess there really isn't a really better version. I mean, if this got a secret rare, that'd be pretty dope. But you know. Crush Card Virus, Ultimate Rare. So, I actually want to say something about this that I don't usually do in uh, Mark Watch videos, but you got Lightly Paid Unlimited for 35 Uh Heavy uh, Plays are like 65 First Edge, though, you have a Light Plays here for 220 My boy, the Harv Cardman, at 225 here. He has five copies. Hey, he took my advice well, and he, he, he made value. I, he's a really great YouTuber. He did the Prank Kids deck profile, which... Was really awesome of it and three hundred dollars. Here's what I want to show you guys. So I got two ulti mod play crush cards. I got these for about thirty. They're first said. I already have my first end mint, by the way. I, I got that at way cheaper than it was when I mentioned. I got those at like forty because I thought that was a steal. So I managed to get a first said for forty and then a light play later on for sixty, which no sounds pretty dumb. But I got these mod plays because as I tell you guys in my videos, whenever you see a first said mod play of a card of like, for example, Ultimate, and it's a, a whole lot lower than the light place, and you see a couple of them, 
chances are one of those mob plays is probably light play, right? Because a lot of people will say light play cards are actually mob play, which is great for you, the consumer, and then the opposite. And it's usually the opposite. But I like to sometimes buy mob play cards, see kind of what I get. So I want to show this to you guys today. So we're going to start off with this first one right here. I actually have not in expect inspected it. Uh, if you guys hear any meowing, by the way, in the background, I really do apologize. So this is definitely mob play. All the corners here are messed up. Uh, it might be very hard to see. I'll probably have better pictures on my uh, Twitter, by the way. If you guys have a Twitter, you could follow me, by the way. My uh, link is in the description below. Uh, so that's one uh, crush card. But let's look at this other one because I'm a little curious here. Is this going to be mob play as well? Let's see. Uh, look at you out here. I still think first play, uh, first set mob plays for 30 are great. So, let's see this. It's not terribly mob play. So, the corners are messed up, but the bat, uh, actually, never mind. Yeah, the back's not that good. But, yeah, mob play, I got two mob plays here. I got them both. Uh, for about $60. I want to treat myself to a birthday present. And I really like this card. So I was like, you know what? Maybe I'll show it off on the channel. You know, see if they're both mob play. I still think these are going to easily could sell for 100 bucks. So I think I made my money back. And then some. So I'm quite happy. So, yeah. 220 If you got these for $60, like I told you, 60 70 80 bucks, uh, you made a lot of money. Uh, Cyber Twin Dragon Super from Cybernetic Revolution. So I want to show this off because it's very cheap. Like first mob plays, and I know mob plays are ugly, 50 cents. And that's pretty crazy. And then you have, let's see here, first and light play. Let's find this. Uh, no first and light plays yet. Uh, okay, first and near mint. Finally, we have two here, four dollars. Okay, and then. We don't have that many really left. Four or five dollars. The reason why I think you guys should probably pick this card up is because not only is it a Cyber Dragon card, but it's, I believe, the original printing of Cyber Twin Dragon, right? Uh, coming out of Cyber Necro Evolution. So for an OG Super of a Cyber Dragon card for First Ed, I, I know this card has a lot of printings, like a lot of Ultra printings, but the OG Super for four or five dollars, First Edition, if you don't have one and you know where Cyber Dragon cards go like I do, I mean, we've seen Cyber Dragon just regular go up to the actual moon. Uh, in fact, one of them went all the way up to Jupiter. It was crazy. But, yeah, would I grab this? Definitely. I think this is a great card to pick up. Uh, Cybernetic Magician Ultimate Rare. So you discard a card from your hand. The attack of one face-up monster on the field becomes 2,000 until the end phase of your turn. So it's not a 2,000 boost. It would be kind of okay then. It's 2,000. This card's horrible, right? Ultimate Rare, first time I'll place again for about 10. Well, actually, there's a very cheap one here for 550 and then 1050. Uh... Actually, there's like three copies here below the $18 mark for first ML play. That's actually quite disgusting, but hey, there's a cheap copy here if you want to go grab it. So, yeah, first and light plays, though. That's what I want to see. 45 bucks, and then first and near mints are about $55. Now, why am I showing off this ultimate? Because someone brought to attention that the rares from Cyber, from Dark Revelation of Cybernetic Magician are are somehow more. Lightly plates are $78. There's no near mints on the market. Wow. Would you rather have a first set near mint for 55 or a lightly played unlimited rare? You can't even have the first end edition stamp on your rare, by the way, for $78. Man, dude, who even puts these prices? Listen, you want to actually sell this? Uh, how about you subtract it by $78, right? In fact, I'd probably subtract it by $87. I wouldn't even want to sell this car for money. That's how bad it is. But, like, maybe, like, five, six bucks. I mean, would anyone even bite then? Like, this is so stupid. Like, someone told me this, and I was like, there's no fucking way that the rares are worth more. That man must have had filters on, right? But, like usual, I, I usually doubt my audience with this just because I don't want to believe the insanity that they're telling me. But, you know, sometimes people just get mad at the messenger, man. Like, uh, shout out to my boy Ricky. If you have this, you shouldn't. I'm not even going to tell you to sell it because that, that's, more, that's even more common than common knowledge, 
ridiculous. Glow bulb, ultimate rare. Fun fact about this card. So I bought my copy at about 45 bucks right before it got banned because I thought to myself, hey, if it doesn't get banned, it's going to go to the moon. Like, if, if Neo Fiber came out and we had Glow Bulb, this would be a $250 Ultimate Rare. I am not debating that. That is $250, right? So I thought, let's get mine there or just have it if it gets banned. Well, it got banned, which, good, to be honest with you. But, like, I play a bunch of plant decks and this was so dope. Especially being in Earth, you could just go into Naturia Beast. It was wonderful. So, yeah, first set light plates for $75. First set near mints though, which uh, what I have one is 120. Well, that's a lot more than I paid for it, which is great. I mean, this is played in a lot of older formats, and it is a Star Strike Blast card, so it's very hard to get. These um, glow bulbs also damage very easily. I'm not too sure why I'm not seeing mob plays here. If you guys, I don't know why, right? But I've I've had a a lot of like ulti glow bulbs back in the day. You know, I kept like going through them. I've seen a lot of people have theirs, and this card is very easy to damage, like this specific ultimate rare. So if you guys don't know, always inspect this before you buy it, if you decide to buy one. But yeah, these only have like one page. Am I shocked? Not really. I mean, people are buying up old stuff now, like Scapegoat. Oh, this start pack 8. Now this went to $120, and I wasn't really shocked because I see it as a $120 card. Like, I, I think that $100 for this card is very fair. And right now, we're seeing these at about $97. Uh, 98 we have a lot of these. I think that this will probably chill out at like 80 maybe $70. Bucks. Uh, it might go... It's going to go a little closer to what it was. Because we see a lot a lot of people just trying to undercut each other here. Like, this is all essentially within 100 bucks, right? Or like, let's see. $0.78 cents here, 22 So between 99 and like, you know, $97. And you got all these copies, right? You got this big listing here. Uh, personally, I would wait a little bit. Like, I'd wait maybe a week or two. See uh, what the prices are, and then buy one if you do not have your copy. Because I could see this going down to at least 90. Uh, I don't really see it going too crazy, because every GOAT player only needs one copy. And a lot of people who wanted Ulti Scapegoat and saw it's, like, real potential, like me, got this at $25, right? Like, I really do wish that I was able to make more investments back in the day, but I was just like, well, I just let me just get one of what I want and everything that I think is going to go up, and then I'll go on from there, right? Unless it's really cheap or I could get for, like, a really good deal, because, you know, I have bills, and I actually have even more bills now, but I'm making a lot more money, so. Mystical Space Typhoon, Astral Pack 8, Ultimate Now, this is bought out almost $200. I'm not shocked at all. Like, it's Mystical Space Typhoon. Like, okay. However... I told people to get the Ghost Rare. It was a whole lot cheaper, and it'll probably go up uh, a lot more. You'll make a lot more money off it. So, Ghost Rares. Now, you see this $14 right here, right? That's actually not true. That's for a playset of heavily played Unlimiteds, right? If this was mod, I would say go pick it up, right? Because it's a set, right? And that's really nice to have. Light plays, 70 bucks, okay. Then we have $76 for Near Mints. Hmm. Uh, what do I think of this? Well, not only did MST get bought out, but the Ghost Rare Solemn Judgment got bought out from the same set. So people are looking at Ghost Rares from Gold Series Hall and Mine, and they're picking them up. I saw this buyout coming when I saw both of the things. I'm like, people, because you have a bunch of people looking at this card now. This should have never been below 30, 40, 30, 40 bucks. Like, to be honest with you, because who's also going to want just one Ghost MST, right? Like... In fact, let's actually look a little bit here and go through just the ghost rares of this. I'll actually look at this set maybe properly later. Light play, 65 that's fine. Near mints, $86. That's okay. Like, it'll probably go down a little bit more, but it's pretty good. Heralds, we already know this one's stupid. I'm not paying that. Uh, Gores here. Let's see. Lightly plays, 20 bucks. Near mints, 27 Going on up, though, to the $50 mark. Could this get bought out? Pro maybe, yeah. I mean, a lot of people actually like playing the Ghost Gores, but, like, uh, if it wasn't a Gold Rare, that's what, like, a lot of this set suffers from, is being a Gold Rare. I just saw something ridiculous. Hold on. Yeah, Lightly Plates 13 here. I would say get your Barkeons, right? It's probably going to be next in line. It is a pretty good, decent card. Near mid to 20 bucks. that's completely fine, but it, honestly, it's probably going to come with scratches. Just get the Lightly Plates at 13s. 
Is that a Don Zalug common I saw for 14 bucks? I'm probably tweaking. Oh, God. Wow, $14. Well, near mint, $15. So which one of y'all is paying this? Because I know I'm not. Like, normal, 6 bucks. What a great buyout. In, so, in fact, let's look at our boy Don Saluk. Since I'm looking at old classic cards here. Uh, Speed Duel, Trials of the Kingdom, 13. Okay. Uh, Dark Beginning Super Rare. Well, actually, you know, we'll, we'll go in, we'll go in order. Uh, Damaged for 7, Lamau. Uh, we're gonna put filters on, because I cannot go through all this. Light Plate, Unlimited, Near Mints, 10, 11. Like, you'd rather have the original one than that common, right? That would, which is crazy to me. Like, nobody's paying that price. Uh, how much are first sets, though? 25 bucks? 24, 25? Not bad. First set near mints, though. That's what I want to look at. $95. Listen, if you if you want some money, grab some of these first set light plays. I think they're really, really worth it. At this point, I think grabbing these first set... Like, get, grabbing anything first set that's, like, super rare or, or ultra rare from, like, these older sets is actually really good. Right? Especially, like, the OG stuff, like, for a Guardian. DB2... Uh, twenty bucks. Just, just get the, just get the first set light plays. Uh, retro packs, eight bucks. Um, uh, okay. I mean, it's old. The golds are like something like. I, I, I think this is ridiculous, but everything else is kind of adding up here. Yada Garasu. So, Sola told me the stupidest thing, right? And I was talking to this person, right? And. They were like, "Oh yeah, Yada can come back, yo, bro. It's gonna get power crept all and all this other jazz is like." Do you know, and I asked him what Yada Luck is. Like, yeah, but no one's really going to, like, pull that off, blah, blah, blah. And I'm sitting here like, Buster came back, and people learned how to do a Buster Lock in Virtual World within one hour of the ban list. One hour. You think they can't break Yada Garasu in a day or two? What type of... Like, dude, I'm telling you, you know players sometimes don't know what they're talking about. Like, no. <laughs> like, I, it would be fun if it came back, but it'd be degenerate. Uh, it'd be fun for me if I get it off, by the way. It's only going to be fun for... Yada's only fun for one person, all right? Yada was the original one-player game, as I like to say. So, my plays for 26. Uh, Lightly played 56. First and light play, 135. First and near mint, $290. Uh, you have a PSA 7 here, though. Uh, so, PSA 7, I guess, is considered near mint, technically, which... I knew about, but I guess I forgot during the last Mark Watch. I'm going to correct me, which is great. But a PSA 7 is kind of bland. It kind of sucks, right? Like, I wouldn't want a PSA... I wouldn't want the PSA 7. Like, I'd rather play with it as a first end near mint. Personally, to me. Like, I would. I only care... And most people only care about PSA 8 and above. And I'd rather mostly just get PSA 9 or 10. Like, that's just my opinion. But if you have a PSA 7 and it's worth some money, I mean, good? Cool for you? But yeah... $300 for Yagarasu. I'm not shocked at this. The funny part about this, right, is that DB2, so you have light plays here for about $320. Near mint's about 4 bucks here, right? Okay, as a comment. And then you have one more comment from Retro Pack, right? Near mints are 4 bucks, going up to about 5 So, well, about 4 bucks here. Would I grab this card for your band collection? I probably would. I have a comment that I got for like $0.50. Cents. I was able to find it in a bulk band. I like Yada Garasso and I just got it, right? I didn't really get for its value-wise. I thought it was worth 50 cents. This was like years ago, though. So, I guess I made a little bit of money. Uh, hooray for me. But, yeah. What would I do with this card? Honestly, if you had a stimulus check and you actually want to buy a card, buy out a, a first uh, Yada Garasso, yeah, right? It, I think it's really worth it for the long run. Uh, Magician of Black Chaos, Secret Rare from Premium Pack 1. Lightly plates are four dollars. How much are near mints though? Ten bucks. So they quickly rise up. So someone told me why this is so low. I don't know. I mean, these were creeping on up, and then it felt like people just started putting them up again. Now this wasn't a hard card to get all. I think it was actually a promo, I believe, from premium back. But again, the biggest issue I have with this is not only its age, but like the comment uh, said, right? Is you only have two other printings. You have this common here, right? Then you have an Ultra from Speed Duels, right, for $11. 
I would rather have a premium pack secret than a speed rolls ultra rare, but hey. Yu-Gi-Oh players, right? Number 33, Chronomaly Maku Max. So, you have a first end life play here for $62. First end Yermit, 76 Fun fact, by the way, when this got bought out, uh, I was going through one of my old card shops, and I was able to get one for about 10 bucks for a first end Yermit. Now, you guys are probably not going to see me list it ever, because, like I said, this is actually one of my favorite number monsters in the game, if not my favorite, which... You guys are going to see that Gaga deck profile once I perfect it. You guys have a Dogmatica deck profile coming up, though. And eventually, Medulce, but I'll get to that eventually, right? It's just deck profiles, man. I have to get in the mood to film those more. So, one guy asked, though, if they should pick this up. He, had, uh, he could get one for $40. Well, if you see this one for 76, right? Well, 77 because of that dollar shipping, right? Let, let's just look at this one because it's verified. Uh, 78 bucks, right? $40 for first end your mint. Essentially, you're paying like 51%, essentially. Yeah, the answer is yes. Especially if you're a number, because I believe the guy was a number collector. Uh, yeah, you definitely want to grab that copy. Um, obviously, $40 isn't the nicest to pay for a card like this. But like... These were so cheap for so long. You could have got these at like 10 bucks for the longest time for first eds. It is what it is. You know what I mean? Like the longer you wait for cards, people like love to wait for cards and they complain when they go up. Like obviously not that guy, right? Because I don't know what his situation was. Maybe he got into it late. Maybe he uh, just started number collection. Who really knows? But a lot of people with a lot of cards, they will only talk that they would sit and say they were going to get a card. Uh, when it's bought out. They were actually never going to get that card. Now, we all have cards. Like, uh, for example, I still don't have my first set Dual Saga Dante. So, if you guys want to prank me for April for first, buy that card out. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to be laughing, but you guys are. It's actually not too bad of an investment. But, I, uh, you yeah, know, we all have cards that we say we're going to buy that we're not going to. But some people, it's like that's the majority. It's absolutely nuts. But you have regular copies here for about 10 bucks. Uh, going up to about 11, so this card's still fine, but it's still a solo print. I mean, if all these can hit 80, Ultras can hit 20. That's all I'll say. Injection Fairy Lily, coming out of Legacy of Darkness. So, fun fact about this card. Getting a uh, good PSA uh, for this card is actually really rare. Sorry, guys, I have a little bit of ingestion. I was eating a lot of stuff today because it was my birthday, so oof. But the reason why is because the centering for... Uh, Legacy of Darkness, Injection Fairy Lily, Secret Rare is really odd. Like, it's very shifted to the left or right. The centering's really bad. Uh, so, so let me go over this. I really don't want to go through, like, half chewed off copies. I have a Near Mint Unlimited here that I actually got for, like, three bucks. Twenty-five. That's good. That's not bad. I mean, a lot of the plates are for fifteen if you just want it. Okay. First set I play, sixty-five dollars. You think that's lightly played? Are you fucking out of your mind? Guys, if you don't see that big ass crease, 100%. Good thing he included a picture. Holy crap. This guy's 26 for $100. I want to lower your price a little bit. First I'd like play, so 73 bucks. If you literally just want the card, just to have it, like a first set copy that looks good and you don't want to PSA it, just get a first set light play. First set near mints, $300. I mean, okay. Uh, there's one here for that. There's no PSA copies, though. That's actually quite shocking. Um, do you, If you want one, I mean, first set light play for about 74 That's not That's not bad, right? But, man... This literally has the this huge crease. Oh, it has a back too, and then there's right there too. Ugh, no. I always called this like the Nurse Joy of Yu-Gi-Oh, though. It's always just remind me of that. Uh, Super Koi Koi Invasion Vengeance. Someone in my comment section bought this out, and I saw this bought out. I don't know why, but uh, we're buying flower carding cards in 2021. Really? Four bucks. All right. I mean, if you have that in your bulk, I guess you have a place that have twelve bucks. 
Uh, ulti is Sky Striker Hayata. Ultimate rares, these are bought out. She have a cheap one here for 45, 50 bucks, and then 60. I hope we'll get this at 33s. Uh, and then they went down to like 25, and I said, well, you know, I'm wrong sometimes, because I am. But they'll go up back in the future. I won't get rid of them, per se. You just have to wait now, which, you know, is unfortunate. So if you waited, and you got them at 33, I mean, they went up, and they're going to keep going up, right? Every Sky Striker ulti does. But someone actually ordered one of these and came damaged, and he was really upset about all that, and I'm like, he wanted me to say some things about it, so... For sellers, the issue is, is they don't check cards before they send them out. Number one. Number two, trust me, I know this from experience. Cards just sometimes end up getting some type of damage in your binder. It's really weird, and it's really rare. But, like, if they're single sleeve, once in a while, just, it'll be damaged a little bit somehow. I don't know why, I don't know how, but I've had cards that just are randomly, moderately played, and I just put them in a binder and they sat there. With other cards that weren't moderately played. It's very odd. But it that does happen as well. Along with USPS messes up sometimes. Like sometimes they don't think they damaged a card. When they actually did. Right? And now everyone's confused. Right? So what I would say is just be peaceful. And be act like a normal human being. If something goes wrong. With your high stake order. You might end up getting blocked from the seller. after you After you get your refund. But... You know, it is what it is, right? But it really is unfortunate that that happens sometimes. <sighs> Unity, Shonen Jump Magazine promos. Let's see how much these are today. Uh, Lightly played. You got a cheap one here for five bucks from Blurry Buy. That's actually really good. It's a new seller, but he's trying to get his name out. Five bucks? Go for it. Uh, yeah, it's 20 bucks. Okay, uh, g going up to about 30 bucks here. Would I grab this? Definitely. I think that's a great copy to actually grab. Wing Kribo, Dual Terminal 1. Lightly plates $2, near mints two fifty, and this guy has 30 of them. So, hey, if you want to hold on to an iconic card, that's DT. Congratulations for 250 times 30, which is 75 bucks. That's actually very easy math. Um... You know, but I guess it has that penny, so it's like seventy-four dollars and like twenty, you know, something cents. But whatever, I'm not, I'm not here to do math. You know, for seventy-something bucks, you get thirty of these. Is it worth it? I don't know. I mean, you guys went crazy over DT Copycat, so what's thirty dollars worth? Uh, thirty copies of Wing Karibo, right? Speaking of Wing Karibo level ten, Cybernetic Revolution. I probably should have put this with a Cyber Dragon Super. Uh... Lightly played unlimiteds are eight dollars. First end mob plays here for about six fifty. Uh gonna take off my filters here. Uh first end light play, sixty dollars. Wow. Uh that's quite crazy actually. First end limit, 75, 70. I went over this card. I told you guys to get first end at around like ten, eleven dollars. So hopefully you listened. Getting the two mod plays for twelve dollars when first end light plays are fifty eight, that's not bad. Like, I probably would actually go grab that. In fact... Uh, sorry about that. You've got DR4s for like $85. I mean, they're not selling, but they're here. Uh, how much are ultis, though? That's what I want to look at. Pet East Ultimate Rare. What are you, like 800 Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a first set for 425 I forgot about that. This actually isn't a bad deal. Especially since they go up to $1,400. I mean, this is actually really good as well. I mean, it's a graded PSI, PSA 9 German. Yes, German is as good, but still, it's a PSA 9. I still, I think people should be sleeping on this copy. I'm shocked to see it up, actually. Uh, Yukiko and Konoha Sakuya. If you guys don't know where this is from... It's technically anime because Persona 4 has anime, but it's really a game. If you, uh, if you guys didn't know, I actually am a huge fan of Persona. I will say, though, Persona 5 really ruined the community. Like, I'm not even joking. I didn't think the, a Persona out of all communities would actually get horrible, but... You know, life really does give you lemons, and then they just explode on you, huh? It just happens. Like... <laughs> Ugh, Persona community, dude. But I actually loved Persona. Uh, my first game was 4, 
right? Which I think a lot, okay, a lot of people's first game was, was five now because we live like in a different generation. But back in my generation, it was Persona 4. And then I went to three. And I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I played one or two. I've seen like gameplay of it. And I was like, okay, but like, I really like Persona 3 because it's just super fucking dark, right? Like, like Persona is known for being dark and tackling some good issues, right? But they're not, they're doing like in a lighthearted tone. Persona 3, there's like almost no winning throughout the entire game. I, I never felt like a winner playing Persona 3, which was hilarious. But I really liked Persona 4, I mean... I remember this was back in the day with uh, if if you're an old school fan of anime, uh, Evangelion was still like really popular. It still is nowadays, but like Evangelion discussions were like kind of hyped randomly during this time. And I remember uh, this was back when like the whole like you know oh do you like Ray do you like uh, Atsuka you know if you liked Ray you were more into Kudere's if you liked Atsuka you were more into the Sundere type. People had the same thing happening with her, uh, Yukiko, and I think it was Chihiro? I, I, I played Persona 4, like, once, right? And I enjoyed it, but, yeah, um, I actually really liked Himiko, though. Himiko was actually pretty awesome. And you got Persona 4 packs here. I mean, that's cute. I, I can you wait, Persona, uh... What's called white shorts packs? I don't know. Oh, also, don't go on TTG Player as much to get, uh, white short stuff. Uh, from what I've heard from someone, I still think it's good to check TCG Player and see uh, what they have and get their stuff because I th still think they actually have some great deals on White Shorts product. It just depends on what it is. It's kind of like, it's hard to describe, but always look around for more niche. Uh, you know, stuff like this because White Shorts, yes, it has a competitive scene, but it's heavily collecting. But yeah, I really liked Persona 4. Uh, if you guys love Persona... Let me know in the comment section below what your favorite waifus were from Persona. You guys tend to like me stopping the Mark Watcher talking about anime. So I might end up doing that since a lot of people aren't actually bothered by that. But I do plan on having a live stream where I talk about... Because you guys asked a bunch of anime questions on my last Mark Watch. I might... I'm going to have a few of those in my Q&A. And I'm also going to have probably a live stream where I just chill. Like I'll have like a tab of TCG player open. And I might just go through shit. Uh, okay, open random tab here. Arcana Knight Joker Dual Terminal. These have somehow went lower. Light play here for like four bucks, five bucks here. Like, this is funny. I guess nobody has faith in this dual terminal. Uh, but King's Knight Ultimate. We're going to go through all the Knights ulti here. So, let's see. Are you something crazy, crazy like? First time I'll play 20. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Really? For unlimited? That's a steal. That is actually free money. Jack Knight Ultimate Rare. Uh, let's see. I I have a friend who has one of these because he really likes the Knight Collection. He was able to get. I know he has an ulti this. Uh, first that he has an unlimited Jax, and I don't know about the Queen's Knight, but uh. What's it called? Ulti unlim unlimited lightly played sixty five. Uh, first set near at one twenty five. I mean, it's not good, but it could get worse. Queen's Knight. I got my first Ed for two bucks, and I sold it for I think not eighty five or ninety bucks. And this was like a while ago. And this is the one that decides to go the most terminal. Two ten, three hundred. I think this is ridiculous. Like, these prices aren't consistent. Like, this is the, uh, uh what's it called? Uh, effect 1, too, which is funny, but... Mm. I don't know why this is the one that is worth the most. Ah, uh, I mean, I guess it's a queen, but, like... Ugh. I mean, you could search it with Rhoda. Yay, but I don't know. If you have this card, and you don't have a set... Do, would you rather have this or Prismatic at this point? Like, I just don't see this price sticking. It's just too crazy. Advanced Ritual Art is the highest I think I've ever seen it, right? It's probably been higher than this, but I've personally never seen it with my own eyes. 
Duel Saga, five bucks, going up to six dollars. Speed Duel Decks, five bucks. DTs, three dollars. I mean, I still think this was a great DT pickup by a dollar. Still is. Astro Pack Five Supers, four. Bling Blings, four fifty. This is probably used in something. There's no way this just randomly goes up. Total Pack Booster, four rares, three dollars. This is what I like to play with. Supers from the Secret Forces, three dollars. Strike and Neos, dollar fifty-seven. I mean, it's probably used in some type of ritual. Maybe it's like I don't know. Blue Eyes is using rituals again. Maybe, probably Dryan or some other ritual deck. I don't know. Blue Eyes White Dragon Dual Saga. I want to go over these because you have First Set Life plays at twenty bucks here, and then you have First Set Near Mints here for thirty-eight dollars. Hey, that's me going up to about forty bucks. Uh, I wasn't too. I was listening to this today and I found it interesting. And I didn't know why this was going up, but hey, blue eyes is blue eyes. Like, you get first set structure deck blue eyes. They're actually really good looking for more, but hey. Sukiyomi Ultra Rares. First set, it's $9. Going up to about 10 but we have a, yeah, about $10 here. I think this has always been a $10 card in my eyes. I mean, it's Sukiyomi. Uh, second highest uh, printing, except for the ulti at 125 uh, and then you got, like, commons and rares here for about half of that. So, hopefully you got your ultras when they were cheaper. Mizuki, you have a... What's it called? First at light place here for about 870. First at near mint's about 9. I mean, it's Mizuki. Uh, Nova's, uh, 25, 27, go up to about 30. People don't have a lot of faith in Dryden. I don't know why, but... I, it did get hit, but it's because if they did not get hit... They, they would have been all over. Would it be a tier 1 deck? No, but th would there be events where it had 65% of the tops? Eh, probably. I mean, we never really know, but Dryan would have been crazy, crazy. And then we got the Union Carrier ban, which was really nice. Like, Union Carrier was a very degenerate card, so that's I didn't really like it too much. Uh, oh man, by the way, imagine when Dual uh, Overload just came out. We had Neil Fimer, Anaconda, and Union Carry. And you told me Anac uh what's called Union Carry was the first one to get banned. I would have laughed at you. Alistair, the Invoker of Madness. Uh $26. Invokes are still being used to this day. I don't know why the collector's rare is this cheap. If you want a cheap collector's rare, here it is. Sky Strike and Maneuver Scissor Cross. Uh these are about $1, dollar, dollar twenty-five. Uh this was when it was very easy to get sneak peek promos, so I'm not shocked at this, but I feel like we're going to go through an era where sneak peek promos are going to get bought out. And this is a Sky Striker card. Would I grab it? For sure. I think this is great to have a, maybe a playset of. I wouldn't get more than a playset, but yeah. Rose, I mean, 22 for unlimited. First said 22. Okay. Would I pay this? No. I really wouldn't. But... If you already got this for eight ten dollars, great for you. If you're not playing striker and you have this card, I'd sell it because this isn't dodging the ten. We're gonna get a prismatic secret rare of this. But I'll be honest with you, I wanna play with the ultras. Uh the Starlight Rare, I think my boy Jimmy Hop pulled one of these. 446. I want one, but I will never have one. <coughs> Link Karibo. Uh I thought this was a joke when someone told me this was five dollars. I thought this was like fifty cents, but with, uh, what's it called? Uh, you know, at Ignister and all these other cards, uh, you know, Cybers cards coming out. I'm not shocked that it's going up, because it is a good card. Uh, your play activates a trap card, you tribute this card, you negate that effect, and if you do, banish it. So, essentially, this protects you from stuff like Imperm and Evenly, right? Uh, along with some other trap cards, depending on what they have. Because, as long as it's a trap card. Oh, and you also banish it, which is really nice. Uh, if it's in your graveyard, you can tribute an Ignis from us that was summoned from the extra deck. Especially from this card, right? So, it does suck that it has to be from the extra deck. Uh, that this would be a lot better, but it does negate. So, I'm kind of happy they made it like that. Uh, for I mean, it, it's a good interrupt. That's all I have to say. It's very good because it helps you access your place. $5, I think that's great. I'm glad I picked mine up at 50 cents. Fire Formation, 10 keys, near mints. 181. Mm, no, I'm not. I'm, no one's paying that. The Stalos, the Firestorm Monarch. 
you a, uh, if this is tribute summoned successfully, you randomly discard a card from your opponent's hand to your graveyard. If it's a monster card, your opponent takes life points equal to level that monster times a hundred. So it it was like a discard and some burn. So yay. First at light play, fifty dollars. First at near mint, two hundred. Just get light play. Uh fun fact, the uh what's called Dark Revelation Volume 3 Super Rares. Uh, you get uh, light play here for 31, and then it's essentially bought out. Wow, imagine people actually paying this amount for this card. Man, I remember when this card was banned, and it was actually good. Uh, man, I still really like this card. I mean, DT's for a dollar, two dollars, that's not bad. I actually want to see how much ultis are, though. Because a lot of people forget this actually has an ulti printing. From the Lost Millennium. I actually think the ulti looks really cool. Uh, first time I play, 70 bucks. Yay. First time you met, $85. If you're an old school collector, 80 bucks for an ulti? Not bad. Royal Firestorm Guard. Normal summon, you select 5 pyros in your graveyard, return those to your deck, and then draw 2 cards. So it's like a normal summon. Pot of Avarice, that's a little cheaper. I mean... It's not bad. You're also not going plus one. You're going just straight plus two because you still have this card on the field. It's actually quite good. Uh, although it has to be normal. If it just, when it hit the field, when it's summoned, that, it'd be even better. But, you know. Huh. Your bits are $34. First item at 50 I think that's actually quite good for a Gladiator Assault Secret Rare. I mean, I personally believe in Screech. That's my religion, but, you know. Rapid Fire Magician Ultimate Rare uh, Elemental Energy. I actually have a mob play unlimited of these, so three bucks. This was never worth a lot of money. I don't know why, but yeah, you can get in your mints here for about seven. How much are first heads though? First to light play twenty, thirty, thirty-eight. Okay. I mean, I'm surprised. I mean, he's really good with balls. I mean, I'm pretty sure I would love him. So, Cosmic Cyclone Secret Rare First Heads. $22. Well, I mean, $18, but once those are gone, there's mine right there. Hopefully you got yours when I mentioned them at around 10 to 15 bucks. Number 72, Shogi Rook. I actually really like this because I find Shogi very interesting as a game. I actually always want to learn how to play it, but yeah. To rank 6, uh, you detach you, you target a face-up monster your controls, and one set spell trap. Your puck controls destroy them by any battle damage your opponent takes itself for the rest of his turn. Uh, you detach two, you pop a set spell, and a monster. So, I mean, it's okay. It's not terrible. Uh, near mints are six fifty, but they kind of bomb out $16 here. So, this also does not have a reprint. So, if you're trying to be, complete your number collection, I would, I would probably get yours. Nine listings. Number 74, Master of Blades. It's, I love this card because it reminds me of Air Gear. I love Air Gear. I'm a big fan of that series. First at light play, well, we have one for a dollar, then it goes up to two. First at near mids, two dollars. I mean, I'm pretty sure this has a maximum gold reprint, right? Yeah, 15 cents. I mean, Secret lo Rare looks way cooler. That's all I gotta say. Pendulum Call, Super Rares. First heads, five bucks, going up to about sevens here. Pendulum never do anything. This is the highest rarity of Pendulum Call. That's all I'm going to tell you, but... I think people should get Pendulum stuff when it's really cheap and just have it at the side for a rainy day. Dark Magician Girl. Event Pack Speed Duel. <coughs> Sorry, guys. My throat's a little dry here. Uh, 180 for Light Play. This isn't selling. I'm not shocked, but... Apparently, there's someone out there with like 15 or 20 copies, something like that. It's one of my subscribers. That's all I know. Uh, I, I don't think this card's ever really going to sell, but I'm going to keep attempting. I spent $10, but maybe I'll just like roll them. Then Legendary Duels Rate to Raw. You know, boxes of this are actually 72 going up to $79 now. That's insane. And the Ghost Rare, instead of being 180, which I thought that was the lowest it was going to go. Uh, now they're about 300 for first end year mint. So, if you're waiting for Raw, I, I wouldn't wait too much longer. <coughs> so, with that being said, guys, leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe. Thank you, guys. 
uh, so much for getting the channel to 1,400 subscribers. Uh, if you guys were wondering why, um, you know, I had some indigestion and all that, and why there was some longer pauses, uh, I'm a little bit hungover, but I ate a lot today to cover for it, and indigestion plus the hangover is like, uh, plus my throat's feeling really dry. So, still feel a bit lightheaded, but hopefully I'll get better for until the next video, which you guys are going to see a special market watch that I won't enjoy. I, I mean it, I really won't. So, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.